everyone, so this is going to be my hair care routine as you can see from the title and this is a bit of a odd video for me because if you follow my blog or talk to me on Twitter or if you just sort of know about me and my hair, I didn't do anything to it before I had this routine. I used the cheapest shampoo and conditioner going, I sometimes I didn't even brush it when I got out of the shower, I just shoved it up. And it was getting to that point where it was so knotty, it was dry, and I just wanted to cut it all off. But then I sort of thought to myself, I can't expect to have nice long hair if I don't look after it. And I like my hair being long, I didn't want to get it cut off, so I thought, it's time I start looking after it. So I thought I'd share with you what I've been using to get it back into good condition. You might notice as well, I have re it. I did it last night. I've bought the blonde a lot higher and um, it's a lot brighter and I absolutely love it. I've also curled my hair today. I've really been making more of an effort with my hair. By the way, if you want to know how I dyed it, I did it exactly the same as last time, so I'll link down below because I did a blog post on it, but obviously this is the third time I've done it, I think, so yours probably won't come up this blonde straight away. You have to sort of build up the colour. Okay, so first thing I use is this new fast shampoo and conditioner and I actually blogged about this this morning so again I'll link that post down below and it comes in a set like this it's $24.99 from Boots and it's basically to help your hair grow longer and stronger and it's also sulfate paraben and DEA free so that's what the box looks like and then they come in these two little shampoo and conditioner bottles like this um, now the shampoo, they smell quite funny, almost quite menthol-y but not minty and the shampoo actually comes out a light green colour and I'm really really impressed with this because it's sulphate free, I didn't think I would get on with it. I was using a sulphate free shampoo, it was hard to say, before this one and I didn't get on with it at all because it just didn't lather and I just didn't feel like it was doing anything. I just felt like I was rubbing nothing into my hair. I like a shampoo that really lathers and I, you know, you lather it all up on your hair and it feels like it's working. This lathers and makes your hair feel super clean and I think like it almost feels like a cleansing shampoo it really cleans that much and my hair's left feeling really healthy and really clean and stronger and the conditioner I've actually nearly ran out of this you don't need to use a lot at all I just apply mine to my ends and it's a really thick luxurious conditioner which I really like I hate those ones that are kind of watery and thin and just feel like nothing on your hair when you wash them out you can't feel any difference this one you really can my ends feel much healthier they feel much more conditioned um, like they should from the conditioner and yeah they just generally feel in much much better condition so that's the shampoo and conditioner I've been loving there's more about them on my blog if you want to check out more then when I get out of the shower, I brush my hair and I've kept this in the packaging because I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. And this is the Scaredo and it's a two in one and I've kept it in the packaging because I love the packaging and you might just think, Kerry, it's a normal box, why do you love it so much? But I love anything that comes in like a see-through box and you can really see the products that you're buying, you can see the colours, you can just see it, you know? I hate it when you've only got a picture of something and it's in a box and you don't really know if the picture lives up to your expectations and things like that. So yeah, I really like how you can see what you're buying and all of the information is on the, the box as well. So when you take it out it looks like this, it looks like a tangle teaser at first glances but it's much more than that because it's a two in one and it's perfect for kids as well, this would be perfect for Sienna when her hair's a bit longer. So it fits in your hand perfectly and it's um, anti-slip so you can use it in the bath or the shower as well. Um, so it comes like this, it's got three different length bristles on there. So it's great for untangling any hair. Um, I do mine in small section but that's because I've got lots of hair. But it's really, really good at getting the knots out. And then it's got this little feature here, it just unpops like that, pops out and you turn it round and pop it back in and then you have yourself just pop it back in pop, pop, pop. then you have yourself a paddle brush and I use a paddle brush normally on my hair when I want it straight so this is perfect as like a two-in-one brush 
it's very convenient, very easy to use, it's very compact and obviously it's a great price. These are £10.99 and you get two brushes in one. It's perfect for travelling as well, especially like I said with little girls going to pools in the summer or you know if you're going on holiday. You can just take this with you in your beach bag and brush through your hair when you get out of the pool so it doesn't go all knotty and horrible. And I've just been really enjoying using this as my hairbrush. The next thing, I've also done a post on this as well. I did a post on the Scaredo as well, if you want to. All of the posts I've done reviews on will be in the down bar. So the next thing, after I've washed my hair, conditioned it and then brushed it with my Scaredo, I will then use Moroccan oil. And I know this has been around for ages, but it's taken me this long to try it because, like I said, I didn't bother with my hair at all. But I wish I'd discovered this sooner. I think this is what's really kicked me into looking after my hair more and trying out more hair products because it just changed my hair overnight, literally. I applied it to the ends when I got out of the shower and when I woke up the next morning my hair was like soft, it was not knotty, it was just felt healthy and shiny and just looked really, really good. And I think also all of these products that help are not your hair, they make my hair feel lighter and more full of volume because it's not weighed down with knots and dry ends and everything like that. So Moroccan oil, definitely try it out. If you have dry, sort of knotty hair, they also do do a light version as well, I thought I'd mention they do a light version for fine hair. If you have finer hair and you worry this will be too heavy for your hair, get the light version because everyone needs this in their life. It also smells amazing. So that's my absolute ultimate hair treatment, this one, especially because I colour the ends of my hair. Okay, now before I blow dry it or curl it or anything, I use the Charles Worthington Protect Heat Defence Spray and I really really like this, it's good at obviously protecting your hair, um, it's also good for frizzing and things like that so I always make sure I use this before I do anything to my hair. I even put it in if I'm going to let it air dry just in case the next day I decide to curl it or something, I know that it's been protected. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is the VO, VO5, VO5 Stronghold Hairspray. 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 <laughs> and um, I've been using this to sort of set my hair when I've been styling it more because like I said I'm trying to make more of an effort. And this is the weather resistant one which I don't really see how it's weather resistant if you know what I mean. I went to a barbecue and it was raining, put it that way, and my curls all dropped out, but it was like a storm, so hairspray can't really protect you against that, I suppose. But this is good, it doesn't feel like hairspray on your hair, it brushes out really easy, but it holds your style as well, and obviously I like the fact it's in a big bright pink bottle, and it was only about £2 from B&M discounts, so can't really go wrong so that's what I've been loving to sort of finish my hair. So that is the roundup for my hair care routine, I hope you enjoyed that. I've also got my skincare routine coming soon because that is one that's been requested. Don't forget to leave me any other requests you want to see. I think I have a food and fitness favourites coming up as well because I've been discovering more products along the food and fitness regime. I've been getting back into it after a bit of a lull. Oh, and one thing I wanted to mention as well, I was meant to say this at the beginning of my video, but I'm really sorry about yesterday's three minute makeup challenge. I watched it back when I uploaded onto YouTube and I look so moody, and I wasn't that moody at all. Um, I think I was just really busy and in my head I was just thinking of all the things I still had left to do, so I was just like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Um, so yeah, sorry about that, I wasn't that moody at all, I was actually in a really good mood yesterday like I am today, but um, it obviously did not come across. So, so I hope you enjoyed this video guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, and check out all the reviews on those products on my blog because they're amazing, um, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video, bye!